In today's video, I'm going to show you how I prepare and submit my proposal for the Adobe Creative Residency program. My name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer and this channel is all about creativity and the design process. If you are new here, welcome, thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing if you like the content I'm uploading. Today's video is going to be a bit different because I don't really have a script or anything that I want to really cover on this video, but I just want to share with you the process and how I have uh, prepared my submission for the Adobe Creative Residency in one day. In case you don't know, the Adobe Creative Residency program is something that Adobe provides. So literally they choose a few people to be residents for the year and they provide them with a salary, with all the resources they might need, all the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, these people get the chance to travel around to go to different events as well for with Adobe. I actually applied a few years ago and I wasn't successful. When I applied, it was only open to the United States and to Germany, if I remember correctly. But this year they have opened as well to Canada, to the UK, and I think to some other places as well. Since I'm based in the UK, I thought this would be a good chance for me to try again. And to be honest, I already have an idea in mind. This is from a project that I started working on on a university module. So I thought this would be a great idea to develop further uh, if I got into the residency program. The first thing I've done is going to the website of Adobe and I have checked out some examples of previous years, uh, people who have actually gotten into the residency and what proposals they had. And I have also checked the questions that they normally want people to answer through their proposal. Some of the questions, as you can see on the screen, are what is the project, how is it going to help you build a career, how this project builds off of work you have been doing before, how would you share the project and process with the creative community, what will others learn from your project, what digital or analog tools will you use, mobile apps, your creative process and your monthly schedule. So having a look at the example of the proposal by Anna Davis Court, I believe she was working on a children's book, her proposal included information regarding all of these questions. So after answering the questions, I have actually planned out of my sketchbook how I want the proposal to look like. So I have a clear idea of the number of pages, things that I need to gather, materials from previous work. So because this is a project that I already started on one of my university modules, I already have some sketches and some ideas and even some digital designs that I created then. So I have gathered all these images and all this information, all these photos, and I have created a folder on my hard drive so that I can start creating the proposal. I have used InDesign to create the proposal. Of course, it's an Adobe Creative Presidency, so they want us to be using their products. So to be honest, I already pay for the Creative Cloud and I use regularly InDesign, Illustrator, Premiere and After Effects. Those are my main tools for my designs and also video editing or animation. So obviously those are the tools that I will be using throughout the residency. I have created this InDesign project. I have done it very simple. So literally creating horizontal A4 pages and I have created some guides because I always like to work with guides and I have started creating all the pages that my project is going to have. At this point I'm still not sure if I'm going to have more or less the amount of pages that I'm creating but that was my plan from the sketchbook so I decided to go with it. And here you can see some of the pages that I created. So my project is called Design Field Guides and it's inspired by the Field Notes Notebooks by Aaron Daplin. 
And my idea is to create these small notebooks that have a few pages at the beginning with information about different topics. So these topics can go from the design process to typography, even design thinking. And then the rest of the pages are actually blank for the people to use. So the project in itself is simple, but my idea during the residency is to actually create at least one field guide per month or even two if I have enough time. And I would like to create a product-based company around it. So not only creating the digital files, but also to actually print the guides and sell them on different packages or as individual notebooks. And I have also considered uh, the option of creating a membership box at some point during the project. I'm still not 100% sure of all the specifics about the project, but I know that I want something that gives value to the design community, especially to junior designers. So because I'm just finishing my degree, I'm actually considering creating something that I would have liked to have when I started university. So these guys include the very basics of each topic, or that's the initial idea. And the good thing is that they can be handed out to clients. So for example, I can give a guide about the creative process to one of my clients so they understand better how it works and they understand that design is not something that you literally can do on a day. And then this helps me because it helps my clients to give better feedback, to know what to ask for and also to learn along the way. So that's the base idea behind these design field guides. And if you're interested to know more, you can check out the Behance link that I have on the description box, which has the actual proposal that I have sent to Adobe. And even though I have to wait a few months until Adobe gives an answer regarding the project, I will probably get started because I have some ideas of some of the guides that I want to be creating. And even if I don't actually get the residency, this is our project I really want to work on. The benefits of actually getting the residency will be that I will actually have enough time to dedicate to this project and that I will get the exposure to the Adobe Creative community. But if I don't get it, it's also a challenge for me to figure out if I can do it on my own. And maybe along the way, I get even better ideas to present to next year's residency. So that's it for this video. I hope you like the slightly different style. And if you have any questions, please leave them on the comment section below. Just so you know, the creative residency deadline is today, which is 7th of February. But if you didn't get in, just write it down on your calendar because it's usually around January or February of the year. In the meantime, I see you on Instagram and I'll keep you posted about any news that I get from this. And if not, I'll keep sharing my regular content from next Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.